Federal Reserve decided to not raise interest rates this week, but warning that more hikes could be on the horizon if inflation doesn't cool. For more on this, we are joined by President and CEO of the Job Creators Network, Alfredo Ortiz. Alfredo, thanks so much for joining us on your Saturday. Absolutely, Aisha. Thank you for having me. All right, let's dig into this report because it shows that inflation, at least the rate, is cooling. It cooled in May, but the core inflation number, that's the one to look at, 0.4%, yeah. still up more than 5% from last year. So what it means is really at home, we're still feeling it. Yeah, absolutely, Aisha. Look, I have to uh, read a, a headline from the Babylon Bee, actually, that I think best describes what's going on. Biden brags that he's destroying the economy at slightly slower rate than before. Um, and by I think the that way, says that's, it all. That's, that's satire, just so our audience knows. Uh, that's right. That's right. And uh, it's one of those things that really, I mean, he has nothing to crow about. When you think about what's happened over the past two years, inflation is actually still up 15 percent. And in some cases, like food prices, we're up 20 percent. So, yes, the rate of increase has come down, but we're still in a position where consumers are hurting and small businesses are worrying about access to credit because the Federal Reserve has increased interest rates over the past year by over five points. Yeah, let's quickly pull up how inflation is affecting food prices. And we can see that food at home has gone up 5.8%. Uh, and we feel it. We feel it in rent as yeah. well, personal care products there. Um, you know, Alfredo, some economists believe that what's leading to these higher prices is actually not inflation, but something they're calling greedflation, <laughs> where companies are really raising prices um, for profit. Is that what's what's going on? Aisha, look, I mean, the reason we're in the, the position that we're in is because the fateful decision of day one from the Biden administration to really attack our domestic energy production. He disrupted the, the overall the global uh, energy market by doing so. And that's really the root cause of where we started getting the inflation from. And so uh, frankly, we, an easy way to start addressing this outside of just increasing interest rates by the Federal Reserve is really to start drilling uh, domestically and get our energy production back to the point where yeah. we are a net exporter because that's one of the biggest ways that we can fix this issue. But overall, we're here because of the uh, crazy domestic spending uh, that the Democrats have put over the past few years on, uh, on the overall economy. Well, Alfred, let me ask you this final question here just with 30 seconds left. Um, Obviously, the Fed is uh, not going to raise interest rates anytime right. soon. That doesn't mean that we might not see this happen again. Does that is that any indication that we might be able to avoid a recession and hit a soft landing instead? Well, look, the Federal Reserve is doing, I think, a decent job of trying to get to that soft landing. Um, but I still okay. expect, Aisha, that we're going to have uh, some kind of a recession because I'm concerned about the consumer, first of all, which has record high debt, almost a mm. trillion dollars on their credit cards now. And small businesses, they can't access credit. And two thirds of new job growth is in the hands of small businesses. And so yeah. if they're not feeling great about, about the economy, they're not going to be hiring people. Okay. Alfredo Ortiz with Job Creators Network. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Aisha. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.